Hi there, my name is Neil Blevins, and this lesson is called What Would Concept Artists Want from an AI Tool? So a lot of the current work I've seen in AI art generation has been about replacing artists, but what about tools that help an artist to work faster? If the AI field could be anything a concept artist wanted it to be, what would it look like? This discussion will explore some of the things I personally would like to see from an AI tool that helps our work, as opposed to disrupting it entirely. So when the software 3D Studio Max 2 came out in the late 90s, it introduced its first scripting language, and I used it to write tools for the software. Some people thought I did this because I liked programming, and it might shock you to know, but I don't particularly like programming, and I'm not a particularly good programmer. But the reason I made those tools was because something I disliked even more is doing boring repetitive tasks, and writing tools gave me a way to remove the boring parts of my artistic workflow. I didn't want to place every single tree by hand, I wanted to define what the forest looked like, and then the software fills in all the details, which I can then later tweak. And if someone hadn't already written the software, then I was going to. So that said, I'm not new to the idea of letting software assist me in handling the parts of my art process that I don't find fun. As my friend Aperv put it, machine-assisted human expression, and AI has a lot of potential to help in this area. As I said earlier, most of the current work I've seen in AI art generation has been about replacing artists, and this is bad in two ways. First off, obviously, the monetary issue. A lot of people's careers are based on producing artwork for all sorts of products. Yes, there will always need to be some human artists, but if the number of jobs for human artists decreases, a lot of people are going to be unable to pay their rents, unable to afford college for their kids, etc. Yes, artists will need to adapt their skill set, but if there's just less work to do, no amount of adaptation is going to replace that lost income. The second issue is the larger philosophical one. If a computer can make artwork that looks good, why should I bother making art? I certainly agree that the thing we humans bring to the table is the why. It's the idea behind the art. It's the emotion, and it's the message. And those skills are stuff that can only be replaced by an AI if the AI becomes sentient, which I still think is a long ways away. But if an AI can make artwork that's good enough, if it replaces meaning with using the right combination of color and contrast to give the audience a dopamine hit, if quality is replaced with literally infinite quantity, if the audience no longer cares about meaning or expression just as long as the rods and cones in their eyes are excited, then we're going to see very few artists feel the need to produce anything, at least digitally. I've seen many people say, AI isn't making creative work, it's just remixing everything that's already been done. The thought that the audience cares a lot about originality is a wonderful fiction that we tell ourselves, but at least in film and video games, a lot of work is about making something similar to what has already been done before, and these AI art generators seem really good at doing that. But let's put these issues aside right now and imagine a world where these companies producing AIs wanted to use the algorithms to enhance human art instead of replace it. What would those pieces of software look like? If you could design your own personal AI tool, what would the tool do? If you could steer the direction of this technology, what direction would you steer it in? Some people have said that AI art generation is no different than the introduction of Photoshop in the industry. But right now, 99% of the artist's contribution to an AI image isn't that different from doing a Google image search in a large, dynamically created database. What if the AI software really was more like Photoshop, a tool that gave the artist far more control over the images than just writing a line of text? This is what I hope to approach in this talk. Tasks I'd like to see an AI perform. So let's go big picture here. What parts of the art making process would I want the AI to help with? And note, many of these tasks are things I'm already doing or experimenting with in AI, but there's lots of extra options and tools that can make these tasks smoother. So number one is generating mood boards. This task is already covered for the most part with the current AI tools. When making a mood board, either for personal use or you're an art director and you want to make a design brief for one of your artists, you frequently go into Google Images and find a bunch of pictures that give the general mood of what you're looking for in the final piece of concept art. It's a no-brainer that if you can't find what you're looking for in Google Images, you can ask an AI to generate some art for the same purpose, not to be used directly in the concept art, but to be used as reference. Number two is sketch to realistic. Whether it's a good thing or not, a lot of clients want their concept art to look realistic as opposed to sketchy, and getting something to look realistic takes a lot of time, while the rough painting process can be really quick, and for many people this is the most fun part of the process. Here's an example of one of my paintings. The rough painting on the left took me a few hours to paint in Photoshop, and the detailed painting on the right, which includes photo manipulation and some 3D, took an extra three days. While I know some concept artists and illustrators love to add all the tiny details, 
For many, they'd love a way to do the rough sketch and then have the AI fill in the rest. An example of software that already does this is NVIDIA's Canvas, where you paint a simple sketch of different types of landscape elements like skies, trees, and mountains, and then it makes the results look real. Right now, though, this software is limited to landscapes. Here's another image showing a rough sketch on the left and the Disco Diffusion AI doing its magic on the right. So the pieces to go from sketch to realistic are there, but I think a little more work will be needed to produce a generalized tool that gets the end result I'm after in all cases. Number three is making variations of my image. After coming up with an initial design, it's quite common to make variations in order to explore different details or shapes. Here's an example of many variations of a single spacecraft. Both Midjourney AI and DALI have methods for making variations of an existing image. Here's an example of the same painting of mine using both software. As I mentioned in previous videos, DALI seems good at making similar variations, and Midjourney seems good at making very different variations. But what I'd love is to have a single piece of software that's good at both with a simple sliding scale. So number four is making photo bash elements. Most concept artists use combinations of photo elements, 3D, and hand painting in Photoshop or another paint app to arrive at their final concept, a technique I like calling the digital collage. Adding AI elements in the same way that we add photo elements to a concept is another great way to incorporate AI into your image. While we can do this using the current AI art generation tools, having options to create just elements, maybe with an automatic alpha channel, would be super helpful. Instead of taking a photo of a tree and trying to extract it from the background and then place it in the distance of a concept painting, it would be far quicker to ask an AI for a photoreal tree, have it generated already with an alpha, and then give it a lighting direction to match the lighting you want in your final painting. So no more need for relighting photographs. So number five is doing orthos. Another task that many people don't like doing is making orthographic drawings of a finished concept. So another task an AI might be good at is taking a single concept image and producing orthographic views, such as side, top, bottom, etc. of the design that the artist has already made. It could compare the design you did of a front view, look through its data set of similar designs, and guess what that object might look like from other angles. There are a couple notes about this though. First off, the current AI art generators are not great at producing images from a specific camera angle. So if you ask for a character's face from a three-quarter view, you're very likely not to get a three-quarter view. So to get an AI to produce orthos, we need a more reliable way to specify camera angles. This might actually be pretty simple to do if somebody fed the proper data into an AI that includes a lot of these keywords. From what I've seen, a lot of the current AI software has not prioritized these sorts of images. Second, we need a more reliable way to specify if you want a background or no background on your subject. This again might be just a matter of a better data set. And third, it is important to mention that traditionally, a lot of entry-level concept art positions in the film and video game industry were all about making orthos. So even if it's not the most fun job to do sometimes, having it all automated with AI may drastically reduce the number of entry-level jobs in the field. And if people don't get those jobs, they don't get trained, and then there is no one to replace the more senior-level people when they decide to move on. Of course, if AI replaces most of us at every level of the company, then I suppose this phenomenon won't matter because there won't be senior jobs to move into. Number six is a simple way to construct a 3D model from a 2D concept. So if we have AI that can make orthos, then it's likely we could have an AI that could use the same technique to produce at least simple 3D models from a 2D image. I did this example here manually for a test a few months back, but a completely automated way would certainly speed up the process and be helpful at producing rough models to pass to the next department in your pipeline. So other wishlist items. These things aren't exactly tasks I'd like an AI to do, but more changes to the AI art generator ecosystem to facilitate their usage in producing art for the concept field. So number seven is training the AI on a data set that contains more concept art, since a lot of the data set that uh, many of these AIs are currently trained on do not include a lot of concept. But note, it's very important to have artists opting in to get their work included in this data set. Artists shouldn't be forced to opt out, or the current system, which seems to be, they can't even opt out. Number eight is the ability to train the AI on your own images, which can be kept locally and private. Basically, the ability to create your own digital apprentice. I've seen a few examples of this already in the testing phase, but haven't officially seen anything rolled out yet. And then number nine is provide data sets that are guaranteed to not include copyrighted material, and providing better licensing that gives more rights to the final images to the concept artist or studio using the AI. Right now, these AI images live in a very legal gray area, and as such, you basically can't use them with large companies. 
Any video game, film, or book company is going to need copyright over their imagery, so a lot of work needs to be done on the legal side before it's appropriate to use AI art in this capacity. So in closing, these are some of the things I'd like to see from an AI art assistant. In short, I'd love AI to help me do all the art making parts that I find boring. Of course, everyone has different elements of the art making process they find boring or exciting. By no means are all artists the same. So what are some of your wish list items? The area of concept art is very broad, and the kind that I do is a small fraction of it, so I'd love to hear from other concept artists working in other fields. If you could have an AI that helped speed up your workflow instead of replacing it, what would you wish for? So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this talk interesting. If you want more art lessons on other art-related topics, please go to neilblevins.com and go to the Art lesson section. Or if you want to be notified the next time I post a new video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.